Hello everyone and welcome to the second video of Android Java AdMob playlist. In this lesson we are going to see how we can implement a banner ad in our Android app. In the previous video we explored how we can set up the Android uh, AdMob SDK. So let's go ahead and start. Here we already created the add unit for our banner ad. This is how we can create it. Okay. So banner is a rectangle ads that occupy a portion of an app's layout. Okay, that's fine. So uh, the first step will be you have to open your layout file. Here I have my activity underscore main dot xml. I am going to split this. Here I am going to change the main layout type into relative layout. It actually depends on your layout so here I'm going to add the component com dot google dot android dot gms dot ads dot add view now if you seeing any error please go ahead and watch my previous video that showing you how we can set up this AdMob SDK in our project so you don't have to code these things i will include a, a word document that uh, containing all of these codes so you can just copy paste those okay so i'm going to say the layout width which will be match parent and the height will be wrap content okay here you can see it is literally appears but it asks him more information so the next one I'm going to say adds if you type adds colon here it will show you a error now the solution will be go to the top where your uh, root element is in then you have to type xmlns dot adds equals to here it will suggest you some URL you have to choose this res hyphen auto one okay it will be something like this all right so you will see this code in the word document also then after adds colon i'm going to say add size equals to inside double quotes value as banner okay so the next step will be to specify add unit id we can say adds colon add unit id equals to our banner add id so you can uh, directly copy this id from the admob dashboard to here but this thing literally will be a hard coded one that means uh, each and every time when you are going to create a admob element you have to specify the add unit id instead we can move this thing into our here strings.xml so what we can do we have to select this one right click on this here again we have to select on this key show context actions we have to select extract string resource now we have to say some id like banner underscore id click ok now when you go to this uh, values folder you will see this strings.xml here this is our id stored in our xml file all right so uh, currently we are seeing the banner ad in the top of the screen so i need to move that into the bottom so i'm going to use android colon align parent bottom layout underscore parent bottom as true okay android colon layout underscore align parent bottom equals to true then it will move our component into the bottom of the screen okay now the last thing here we have to provide some id for this i'm going to say android colon id equals to here uh, to provide some id we can say equals to double quotes inside double quotes at plus id for slash 
some ID like add view or M add view or whatever. Okay, that is it here. Now the last step will be go to your Java class and I am going to create a instance of our banner at I am going to say add view. Now when you type this add view you will see where this class is coming com.google.android.gms.ads you have to press enter there so it will import this com.google. Uh, etc all right so i'm going to say the variable name for this as m add view now inside the on create method we can go ahead and say m add view equals to find view by id now we have to specify the id that we provided in the layout component which will be r dot id dot the id was add view okay this one now the next step will be i'm going to create add request here it is coming from this com.google.android.gms.ads and specify a variable name for this as add request equals to new add request here we had to remove parentheses okay carefully remind that we had to remove parentheses okay then we had to say dot builder then parentheses and finally dot build semicolon now the next step will be we have to call for our variable name m add view dot load add inside method it will uh, ask a argument which will be the add request Now inside parentheses we have provide the argument as this add request. Alright guys, here we can go ahead and run our application to see whether everything is working. Here we can see our banner at this visible. Alright, now their implementation guide provides some additional code that allow us to leverage some features like uh, determine whether add is clicked or fail to load or uh, or not loaded okay so there are many things that we can do i will include this link in the description also so go ahead and uh, watch my previous video if you don't know how we can integrate the android admob sdk okay i hope this video helps if this video helps please subscribe thank you very much